Hello everyone, it is time to watch Espa's SMCU episode 3 and it's called Don't You Know I'm a Savage. So let's see how the story continues and all that good stuff. So let's watch it. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, that kind of reminds me of... <laughs> it reminds me of Doctor Strange. Huh? Okay, this is Marvel all the way. Oh yeah, she broke the, the rule to save Aspa. Yeah. Yeah, she sacrificed herself to save the girls. Is that Black Mamba? It is, right? But I thought they defeated him. Oh, they're turning into their their AIs, their avatars. I know someone explained to me the proper term for it um, in my previous video, but I'm sorry, I, I kind of forgot. <laughs> it's been a while. Matrix. <laughs> they went all Matrix. Okay. <laughs> so Matrix. Oh my gosh, we got Marvel, we got Matrix. Oh, she could duplicate herself? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so my question is, now that Navis doesn't have a power, okay, that transition was really cool. Now that she doesn't have a power, oh, what's gonna happen to her? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Iron Man. I'm sorry, I keep referencing, referencing all these movies. I can't help it. I love movies. I like how the members, they have technology. Um, <clears throat> like, they utilize technology as, like, their power. So, Black Mamba just- so, wait. Freeze! The thing that I like about these episode things is like, you got animation, then you got like, comic book type of style. It did nothing. Right? Yeah, 
yeah, basically indestructible. So the members can transform into their AI, like, whenever they want? Alright. So Winter and Karina are down. What is Ningning and Giselle gonna do? Oh, there's Novice. So, okay, at this point, I should have watched the episode. I should have rewatched the previous episode. But, um. Mm. So she basically embodies all those terrible things. Oh, their their avatars are I Hold on. Karina는 환각 속에서 널 지우려 했어. 인간에게 아이들은 결국 소모품인 것. 자신이 마음에 들지 않으면 언제든 버릴 수 있는. 아니야. 그건 그래서 나는 싱크를 끊었다. 인간들로부터 광야와 아이를 지키고 인간 없이도 존재할 수 있음을 보여주기 위해. So she wants to get rid of humans? Is Novice gonna come in at like last minute? But at this point, Novice doesn't have powers. Or did she use her powers for... No. Yeah. I'm sorry, you all. I'm, I'm processing the story. Okay, there's Novice. Okay, so this is when she left to protect them. So this was that moment. Oh my gosh, what if Novice turns evil? What if Novice, like, kind of turns into Black Mamba? Oh my gosh. If Novice turns evil... Oh no. Oh, so that's what caused, okay, the sink out, yeah, like they said. Oh my gosh. Wait, so... Okay, so she's being destroyed. Whoosh. Slam! Sorry, I can't help it. Oh, so it keeps. Oh no. Mm. Gotta go. Gotta go. And then this is... And then... Okay, so this is... Um, kind of what happens in the girls' music video, right? Wait, who's speaking? Is it... Is it, um... Is it the computer? Or is there, like, another character? Because we know in the girls' music video, they defeated Black Mamba. Oh. Oh, it's like a... This is so interesting, because they're like... Superheroes, in a way, of like the cyber world. But the cyber world like is linked or connected to like the real world obviously because people use technology so that whole aspect is interesting and i like how the animation changes Ning -ning. 
데이터를 쏟아부는 건 어때? 이드 데이터를 막지 말고 이곳에 oh. 유도해. Is that okay? Ed, ED, that's the computer. That's like their Jarvis. Wait. I'm ready. Oh, they included Mai into their story! Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. I love that. Okay. But who were the, the three figures with the hood that we saw? Are they like other characters that we're gonna like see? Or were, are they just part of the plot or something? I like how they do that though. I love that. It's so cool. It's 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 like a cool use of like powers, but it's technology. It's I like how they thought of that. Cause like all their weapons are like digital, but then it it's cool. It's a very cool concept. I'm loving the music. Oh snap. Yeah, all four of them have to really, like, go all out and, like, corner. <laughs> the slow motion shot! They have to corner Black Mamba? So she represents Mai? Oh, so she opened up like a portal, so... Okay. So what is that crystal thing? Is that like a Tesseract? I'm sorry, I keep mentioning Marvel. Dang it. I keep mentioning Marvel. So they're still in Kwangya, right? Because that looks like um, the background of Kai's music video. His first music video. Oh no, there goes Novice. Wait, so does Novice die because she left the flat? I want to know how the other SM artists that mentioned Kwangya, yeah, I wonder how their music videos kind of like intertwine with this. Because I know, like, for example... Hold on a second. We are facing an existence known as I. Created from my personal data. Okay, it's I, not AI, not avatars. Sorry, it's I. Based on such data. And can autonomously think without my judgment. A virtual counterpart growing together within people's memories and records. This is called I. I wish they would have had this explanation of I in the beginning. Because I know a lot of people were confused about that. But this was a great way of describing what they are. What? Oh. Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Okay, people could give SM all the crap, like, whatever, but there's no denying. Their storytelling 
for Espa is so flippin' interesting. Okay, here's my hot take of the day. Espa storyline is better than Marvel Phase 4. This is better than Phase 4 of Marvel. Okay. Are we gonna meet Novice in person? Okay, let's talk about this for a quick second. First of all, the fact that Boa is Black Mamba, it kind of answers my question about how the SM music videos, how they connect with this whole storyline that Espa has. I'm gonna bring up Kai again for his music video. Mm, that took place in Kwangya, we saw that. And same for TVXQ Changmin, I believe his music video for Devil, I think it has to take place somewhere in Kwangya. And also Key. For gasoline. I'm pretty sure those take place one way or another in Kwangya. Hello everyone, future me here. So I just wanted to clarify the connections that I believe Kai's music video, uh, Changmin's music video, and Ki's music video has with Espa. And I'm gonna show you guys some pictures. Okay, so to me, it looks like if you see Kai's music video of um, kind of like in this world and you see things that are like floating and it's kind of like a dystopian future type of thing, which to me, that kind of looks like this part of the video that we just saw. Like you see that there's like some floating structures in the air. So that kind of reminds me of that. And then also Changmin and Ki's videos. So Changmin's music video for Devil has like this sort of face sculpture thing, which it kind of reminds me of Ki's music video. So I have a feeling that those two things are connected and again with the floating structure here like the square thing I think it's also connected to Espa. So again, I don't know if I'm overthinking this like I don't know if I'm going too in depth in this and probably these music videos are not connected whatsoever. But to me, I feel like they might just be connected into the Espo world. I don't know if anybody in SM has confirmed this or not. Probably not. I don't know. I'm probably overthinking it. But that's kind of what I see, the connections. But the fact that now it is revealed that Boa is Black Mamba, I'm curious if we're going to see more SM artists kind of intertwine themselves within this story world. I would love to see it. Just like when we saw that bit when it's like three figures that they're like hooded figures. I'm curious if those three figures, if they're anyone in particular that we might know, maybe the new NCT members or maybe EXO members. I have no idea, but I want to see more SM artists involved in this. Listen, I understand that SM gets you know, hated on for the whole Kwangya storyline. Personally, I don't like when the artists and groups, when they mention Kwangya in their songs, especially because most of the time it has nothing to do with the song. I forgot which artist or group, but they had Kwangya in it and it's like, that came out of nowhere. That makes absolutely no sense. Why? But with that being said, I would like to see SM artists involved or sprinkled in throughout this story. It would be great to see some cameos of them. But now the biggest question that I have, Navis. Now that she wants to be in the real world, are we going to see real life Navis? Is she going to be a real life member? Is she gonna be the fifth member of Espa? Personally, I low key don't want that because I'm happy with Espa as they are. Winter, Ning Ning, Karina, and Giselle. I'm just so used to Espa being four members. So I can't imagine them adding on a new member. And with that being said, of course, I, I will address the elephant in the room. The whole Hive and SM thing, it's a mess. Honestly, they should just have a reality TV show of Hive SM. I mean, regardless of what happens, honestly, I want the groups in SM to maintain their identity. Because each SM group from TVXQ all the way to Espa, every single group and artist, they have their own unique sound, their own unique color, their own identity as a team and even soloists. I just want their work to be protected. I want them to have all the support that they need in order to be successful. So with that being said, I am rooting for Espa. I hope they're treated right. I hope that they have an amazing comeback. I mean, they deserve it. They really deserve an amazing comeback. And I'll go back to my original statement. I firmly believe Espa's whole storyline is better than the entire Marvel Stage 4 storyline because I feel like Marvel's recent movies, there's no cohesive storyline. 
I'm just saying. With all that being said, let me know what did you think about ESPA episode three. Also leave your, some of your predictions. And if you guys liked this video, I have more ESPA videos that you guys could check out. I will link the playlist for you all. Thank you so much for watching. You guys can feel free to subscribe and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.